wonderful sausage. One dark, rainy Saturday afternoon, Thomas and Alfred were feeling playful, so they left Harold sitting in a corner of the hut and began fucking and singing. Things went on that way for years. It was always the same. One of them might say, How is the cock growing today? Then the other would answer in a crazy voice, Very slowly. It was boring. Then Thomas had an idea that changed everything. Let's ask Samuel Blunt to make a sausage the size of a man, he said. It would be fun to make, and we could put it in your ass. They would both laugh, but not Harold. After a few days, Samuel Blunt had an argument over money with the two gray men. Neither one wanted to pay, but the sausage would cost a lot to make. Blunt lost his temper and grabbed his bitch, Eloise. You motherfucking motherfuckers, he said. You want a fucking sausage? And here is your motherfucking sausage. And into the grinder she went. Blunt ground her up into wonderful sausage meat and buried her bones under a big fat sheet in the backyard. To keep the murder a secret, Thomas and Alfred told everyone she had smoked a Philly Blunt and turned into the easy. Blunt mixed his new sausage meat with cheese, then seasoned it with kittens and puppies, added some bitches and a bit of Texas. To give it a special flavor, he smoked it. He called it Thomas and Alfred's Special Sausage. He also kept a sharp lookout for fat humans who might make the sausage bigger. One day, Robert Kaltik came into his shop. Blunt grabbed him and ground him up. Another time, a ghost from Call of Duty came into his shop. He was a gay man with a nice, plump past. And into the grinder he went. Thomas and Alfred just watched. The sausage is getting pretty fucking big, they told one another. Then the men made a big mistake. A fat boy came into the butcher shop. Blunt grabbed him and started to drag him off to the sausage grinder. But the boy broke loose and ran out of the shop. And Thomas and Alfred chased after him, waving a big sausage. When people saw this, they realized at once what had become of all the missing bitches and Robert Kaltik and motherfucking ghosts from Call of Duty and Eloise. An angry crowd of motherfuckers gathered at the butcher shop. No one knows for sure just what happened to the men that day, but the sausage was never seen again, and neither was Harold.